Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. I'm the No Code Tech. I uh, wanted to make a video today. Went to our my local club's auction this past weekend. Picked up a couple of things and wanted to show you what I got. So let's dive right in. First thing I picked up for five dollars was a is a MFJ antenna tuner, the one six zero one zero. I know nothing of it. I presume it's just a little QRP manual antenna tuner. Paid five bucks for that. Pretty happy. Also picked up along those same lines a slightly larger Econo tuner, the MFJ 900. Uh, this I paid, got into a bidding war, paid ten dollars for this one. So I presume it will handle 100 watts. Don't really know anything about it. Let's see. I also picked up for $20, a Yezu FT-1500M with a microphone and a cable that looks a bit worse for wear, but you can order replacement cables of these on, I don't know, DX or Gigaparts or somewhere for not too much. Uh, this is, from what I can gather, a VHF FM only, but this thing is solid. Built like a tank. Check out Tank Radio. It's a cool guy. Paid $20 for that. I like that. That thing is a beast. Let's see. I also picked up over here a giant box of crap for five bucks. Just random stuff for five dollars. So I'm gonna start pulling stuff out and we'll see what I got for five dollars. That's upside down. I got whatever this is. A little SWR meter, I think. A little old. Made in Japan. That's cool. I got an MFJ artificial ground. Now I know absolutely nothing about these, but it looked cool and it was in the box and this was the reason I bought the box for five dollars. So I might have some fun playing around with that. What else we got in the box? We have a Heath kit, regulated power supply. On off, current, voltage. That's cool. Looks like I can do AC or DC. But yeah, I'll have to test that. Make sure she's functioning and everything's cool with that. So we'll set her aside. What else we got? All right, a Mirage VHF 30 watt amplifier. Uh, yeah, just a little amplifier. I don't know if that works or not either, but we'll have to test it. So, fun things to do in the meantime. Got a key. Looks kind of, I don't know, nothing about it, but... Seems to work. We got another key. I think that's an MFJ one. That one seems to work too. It's a bit horribly, but yeah. We have desoldering kit. No idea. Let's see. Huh. Suppose put your tips on there and give it a squeeze. Oh, oh. Yeah. Five bucks for the whole box. Not going to complain about that. We got. An antenna matcher. Little tune here. Eh, shiny. Kind of light. Feels like crap. Who knows? Might be cool. Ah, uh, we got a switcher. Someone had dummy and real. I think that's a. Ooh, that's an amphenol. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, it's a little antenna switcher. <clears throat> or coax switcher. Whatever you want to call it. We got a Heath kit. Reflected power meter. Looks kind of old. Kind of nice. Thompson, GW. Thanks, man. So that's nice. Put that over there. We got a realistic speaker. Little plug. I don't know. Just a speaker. And another little speaker. This one is not branded, it's no name. 
but looks like this little plug as well. So that might come in handy. If it sounds good. We got oh a little connector. This was just in the bottom of the box. Just a little PL, the PL. And crap wires. Cigarette lighter or two. I don't know. Just a bunch of wires. Who knows? You always need wire. And lastly in the box, this weird thing. A mounting bracket for something. I don't know. If you know what this is, and you need this, or you could use this, hit me up. I have no idea what this is for. I presume you mount this, and then your radio goes down here. Right? I don't know. Lastly, the one that I'm most happy about is I picked up for twenty dollars. Come here, yes, the Tech Tronics twenty one thirteen sixty megahertz oscilloscope, and it works mostly. Uh, the power button doesn't work, which is kind of a bummer. But at least it's stuck in the on position, so just unplug the back of it when you want to turn it off. I oh, got some probes and stuff along with it. So, yeah, all of that for what, math, about $60. So if you're new and you're looking for a radio or a tuner or even an O-scope or just stuff, hit up your local club. Most clubs have auctions once a year or, or silent key auctions or what have you. And um, don't be afraid to buy something used because you save a lot of money and you get a lot of stuff, most of the stuff. You may not need or ever use, but it's cool to have stuff. You never know where your interests are going to go. Anyway, that about wraps it up. Uh, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Tank Radio. Ah.